Hey guys and welcome to my channel. It's time to make a gathered maxi skirt. I want the video to be super long so if this goes by too fast take a moment to pause the screen. Here I am cutting at my waistband. Now I actually cut it on the fold as opposed to the footnote. Yeah so cut your waistband on the fold. I flip my fabric over so that when I cut it out I can get four pieces of the pocket. I measured down for accuracy six inches so I would know where to place the top of my pocket bag. And in doing this you want to make sure that you stitch and secure your pocket bag to the right side of your fabric before stitching down your side seam. You can see there, there's a stitch going along the side seam where the pocket is positioned. So now just take your time, make smoothing over everything and making sure your side seam is lined up in accuracy and pinned to perfection. Please let me know if you would like a tutorial specifically on sewing pockets or sewing down zippers because this video doesn't have a lot of emphasis on um, how to insert your pocket bag and how to insert your zipper. I didn't want it to be super long. So now that your side seam is almost done being pinned down. Take it to your sewing machine, stitch down your side seam, and then after you are done stitching down your side seam, you want to open up your pocket bag, use that armhole, um, I don't, armhole leg, I guess you would call it, and you want to stitch down the opening of your pocket bag to make sure that it doesn't flop open when you're wearing it or you don't have to worry about the pocket bag sticking out and exposed to the public. Now for the funnest part, that was sarcasm. You want to implement a gathering stitch. You need to get the biggest length on your machine. And the pocket. Once you have folded over your edge 
a half an inch, pressed it. You want to make sure that your waistband matches the edge of your stitching so that when you go to stitch it on your machine, you don't have two stitching lines on your waistband. When stitching your waistband, you just want to make sure that the edge of your presser foot is lined up with the edge of your waistband so that your stitch line will correspond with the stitch line that you made on the other side. Remember, we don't want two deferring stitch lines. Now we want to press our one inch hem allowance. And remember to smooth as you go so you have no wrinkles or bubbles in your hem. The bigger your hem, the more likely to have wrinkles and puckers. As I noted in the footnote, you wanna pin your center back. You want to mark your zipper. I put an opposing pin so I would know where to stop for my zipper. And when you're sewing to the point of your zipper, you want to use a wider stitch, back tack, and then go back to your regular stitch. So like I noted before, if you would like a video inserting zippers, just let me know. Okay, so here is the finished product. The shirt is also made by myself. This um, style of shirt and skirt was found off of Pinterest. Um, my client was inspired by this African look. She was going to an African wedding, so I love to give credit when credit is due. And if you guys have any pictures out there that you would like to see me try to duplicate, feel free to send them to me. Thank you for watching this video. Love you guys so much. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you.